What's up everyone, today we're checking out His Imaginary Friend Comes to Life at Night. Let's check this out right now. So for this episode, we received an email from a mother named Barbara who recently lost one of her sons in a fire. Barbara says that ever the since then, her other son, Caleb, has become mentally unstable. After losing his brother, her son Caleb became so lonely that he created an imaginary friend. Since creating this imaginary friend, his personality completely changed. Caleb, who was always peaceful, has started fighting with his friends and became violent oh and aggressive. Damn. Caleb has also started to collect his mother's undergarments huh? and started cutting off pieces of the girl's hair. Ew, what the fuck? She thinks that his imaginary friend told him to do this. She's worried that her son is losing his mind and sent us this video for proof. This I is... Do I don't want to do it. In the fucking world what now barbara wants us to help talk some sense into her son before he hurts someone or himself or himself so tonight, we're gonna for head sure out he the is house. let's go bro we shouldn't be getting involved with these people we don't know how to deal with this deal with what chester's always a her pussy bro losing his mind listen her son isn't losing his mind. He created an imaginary friend to deal with the trauma from his brother passing. It's called a coping mechanism. And what do you know about that? Just because somebody sent you an email asking for help doesn't make you a psychologist. And why are you dressed like that? Let's just keep driving. <laughs> he has a turtleneck and he's going to a haunted house. What the hell? This is the most big, that's the biggest contradiction ever, man. What? Inside and meet these people. Okay. What if no one opens? Or worse, what if that kid opens? Hi. She looks surprised. Are as you Barbara? A fucking animal, bro. Yes, I am. Hi. Yes, We're I am. With your son, Caleb. Yo, she looks deranged after living with that kid. Son? Well, we can certainly try. Okay, I'll take it to him. All right. Damn, Come bro. Away. She's like, what the fuck? She kind of looks. She kind of reminds me like. Uh, reminds me of. Aunt May from Spider-Man. I don't know. I see the resemblance. Maybe, maybe not. You know, it gets awful lonely here at night. Fuck. What? Dude, she looks scary, bro. Like, that ass, I feel like I'm gonna lose a brain cell. This is his room, but I need to warn you. Ever since his brother died, he hasn't been the same. There's something really wrong with him. Listen, there's no need to worry. I know how to deal with trauma like this. Just let me try to talk to him. Okay, good luck. Come on. Okay. Oh no, that's him. Bro, be careful. It's fine. Hey, buddy. How are you? Bro, I 
Yo, he's, he's gonna do something to you, man. He's gonna kill yeah, you or something. something wrong. He's been through a terrible tragedy recently. Mm. No, I don't know, man. I mean, something else. Yeah, uh, <laughs> classic Chester like being a pussy alone. like always. We know he that. Have anyone to talk to. Mm. Oh no. You see this? I'm eye level with him to show we're equal. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? He took a shot. He shot on his face. I mean, barfed on bro, his face, bro. I told you, something is right with him. Yeah. Ink. I'd be sick too if my brother died. What the fuck? Listen, I need to clean myself off. No I'm shit. Set up some cameras. Okay, uh, let's set up some cameras in this house. Alright. Okay. That's one. Two. That's good. Come on. Wait, bro. What? One of our cameras already spotted something. Look. What? What the fuck? Why is the neck so long? What? What is that? I think it's just a glitch or something. That's not a glitch. That is Dude, not a glitch. There. Come on. All right, straight. Let's go check it out. Bro. Who's on the camera in here? Come on. What's in there? Bro. Chester, you watch out. There's nothing here. <gasps> oh no! Dude! Why would you knock that over? I didn't! Something pushed that on me! There's something in here with us! Look. There's nothing in here. I just checked. Let's just go talk to Barbara now. What the fuck is wrong Barbara? with her? She's lost her mind, man. Uh, I hope everything's okay. Did you talk to my son? Uh, yeah. Which one of the critters did. is your son? Can you fix him? Listen, Caleb is a normal boy. He's not broken. He's just normal. a devastating experience. If you I want mean, to get better, you're gonna need to try. This is a little bit of that. exaggeration, because obviously. Sometimes I think. We lost Caleb a long time ago. Okay, well, we set up cameras all over your house and in Caleb's room so we can see how he's behaving at night. You're not gonna leave me alone, are you? Bro. I thought you could help keep my bed warm tonight. 
Whoa! Whoa. She's freaky, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> um, we're just gonna stay in your spare bedroom tonight. That's okay. Damn, bro. She's horny, man. Honey. She really wants that dick, bro. Damn. Alright, I guess this is her room. Okay, take the bed on the right, and take the one on the left. Um, okay. Oh, dude, weird... no way! What? The bed's completely soiled. Are you serious? Yeah, it's covered in piss. Like, it looks so bad, like, oh my god. Damn, we're gonna have to sleep in the same bed. I'm not going to share this tiny bed with you. Bro, I'm telling you, there's something else in this house with us. Is that seriously what you're worried about? Dude, Caleb is beyond traumatized, and his mom doesn't seem to be taking this seriously. Why would you want to stay here after he squirted that liquid all over your face? Mm -hmm. Between you and Barbara, He's trying to be like I a feel Batman. like I'm the only rational adult here. All I see is a boy who lost his brother, and no one else seems to care. Bro, whatever that thing we saw on the camera was, it doesn't want us here. We already checked, and there was nothing there. And we're not leaving without observing her son's behavior at night. Let's just go to sleep. It's four in the morning, man. But dude! I'm sharing beds, man. Good night. Tony, you gotta lock that door. You gotta bring a lock with you everywhere you go. We go to sleep. What's that? Okay, that's just a glare or a fly or something. Oh, what the fuck? She slips her mouth open like... That's creepy, man. Unless she's dead. That's not normal. How's it 1 a.m.? The clock said 4 a.m., bro. That's where they fucked up with the clock. They should have changed it. What's he doing? Yo, I get it. This is trauma, but like... To fucking turn into a monster over this is like... Beyond normal. It's just transcendent. Ooh, and now Daddy Long Arms is here. Bro, what the fuck? It looks like that three dragon head meme where the third one has like a unserious face. Why does he kind of have the same hairstyle as Chester, the boy? Whoa! Okay, if I saw that, I would go through trauma too. I'm not even gonna lie. What the fuck? This guy didn't even say excuse me. Bro, let's go. Okay. This one's over here. Okay. There's nothing in here. Where did the boy go? Oh no, what's that?
Parker, what is it? You, bro, what the fuck is that? Huh? Tur is there someone underneath the bed? Oh no. Oh no. Bro, he's gone. I think something happened to him. No shit. Yo, he's upset with Chester. You can just tell. <laughs> what the fuck? You can't even see him then. How does the camera see it but not us? If he grabs him, stop. Okay, footprints. You can still see footprints. What is this? That's good. Hold on. Let me turn on night vision. Do you see anything? I can see it! Huh? It's looking through! Come on! Okay! You can see it through the camera. Oh no, bro, that looks scary as fuck, bro. She's dead, just as I predicted. Okay. Where is he going? Outside? Are you guys running away now? Are you called? Yo, you were calling out Chester for Dude, running away. What was that thing? I couldn't even see it. I don't Everyone's know, dead now. But I think it took Barbara. Who the hell is Barbara? Let's just go to our car. Okay. Yeah, now you realize that you fucked up. That wasn't fun. Because he's going to eat you guys up next, you know? Easily, bro. Since filming, we haven't heard of Barbara and her son. They're dead. I'm telling you, they're dead. Whatever thing it was, we do not think it was imaginary. What do you mean by that? Or a friend. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? But yeah, that is the video. His imaginary friend comes to life at night. That was scary, man. And the fact that we couldn't see him through the camera. No, we couldn't see him through the video, but we could see him through the camera. That was weird. And the way he gobbled them up, that was scary, bro. I would never want to be in a house like that with that creature in it. So I think they did the right thing by running away. I'm I'm on Chester's side on this one because why the fuck would you care enough to risk your to jeopardize your own life and get sucked up by this inhumane creature? That is just fucking That's stupid, bro. But let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Thank you.